and refuses to quit French election despite charges. French center-right presidential candidate François Fillon has said he will fight on, as he announced that a judge was placing him under formal investigation. For weeks, he has fought allegations that his wife was paid for years for work she did not do. It's a political assassination, Mr. Fillon told reporters on Wednesday. He has now been summoned to appear before the judge, Serge Tournour, on 15th of March. The date is just two days before the deadline for candidates to submit their final applications. The first round takes place on 23rd of April, followed by a second round runoff on 7th of May. What did he say? In a combative speech on Wednesday announcing the formal investigation, Mr. Fillon called on his supporters to resist, saying it was up to voters to decide his fate. It's not just me that is being assassinated, it's the presidential election. The voices of millions of votes have been muzzled, the Republican candidate complained. He said he would respect the summons and tell the judge the truth. I won't give in, I won't surrender and I won't withdraw. Who is Francois Fillon? A former prime minister during Nicolas Sarkozy's presidency, he was selected late last year in national primaries held by the center-right Republicans that attracted some four million voters. For a time he was the favorite in the race to succeed François Holland as president, but then came the fake jobs allegations in satirical weekly Le Canard and Chain. He has slipped to third in the polls, behind far-right National Front, FN, leader Marine Le Pen and centrist Emmanuel Macron. His appearances have recently been accompanied by loud protests and he has accused the government of allowing the campaign to turn into a climate of quasi-civil war. What is he accused of? The allegations circling around the Fillon family focus mainly on his Welsh-born wife Penelope. Locanard and Chain alleged she was paid €831,400, £710,000, $900,000, over several years for working as a parliamentary assistant but reportedly had no parliamentary past. She was also alleged to have picked up €100,000 for writing a handful of articles for a literary journal. The closer we get to the date of the presidential election, the more scandalous it would be to deprive the right and center of a candidate, he said. Mr. Fillon cancelled a key visit to an agricultural show at the last minute on Wednesday morning prompting speculation over the future of his presidential campaign. It's like symbolically giving up on your candidacy, said Florian Philippot, close advisor to far-right National Front, FN, candidate Marine Le Pen. How have people reacted? One of Mr. Fillon's key allies, former agriculture minister Bruno Le Maire, has resigned from the campaign team. Mr. Le Maire said he felt Mr. Fillon had broken his promise that he would step down if formally investigated. Keeping one's word was indispensable to the credibility of politics, he said in a statement on Twitter, in French. However, other Republicans have expressed their support. Politician Bernard Deber said the investigation was an attempt to thwart Mr. Fillon's presidential hopes, and said he was doing the right thing by staying in the race. Meanwhile, Rival Mr. Macron said investigators should be allowed to do, their, work is normal. He added that even if Mr. Fillon won the vote, he would not be automatically cleared of wrongdoing. Doing. Doing.